What's up everyone, I'm Florian Kohler, also known as Venom, and I'm a professional pool trick shot artist. In this series today, I'm trying to recreate a shot somebody sends me from a video game in real life on the table behind me. In today's episode, the shot is coming from Ellie and uh, from the most famous pool video game of all time, A Ball Pool. This is a pretty awesome shot, so let's take a look at it right now. Okay, good quality today of the of the video sent. So it looks like a lot of bottom and that went real quick, so kind of hard to say. But I would venture for a rail first. So let's see, rail first here, definitely lots of bottom, just straight up bottom. Trying to avoid that corner that points there, and there you go. So okay, so mm -hmm. we have the one ball being sent a few rails, and then the cue ball fighting hard to not scratch. So let me explain that uh, again. Okay, now that you've seen it in uh, virtual, let's look at it in real. So I set up the ball, the one ball, the same spot that is in there. My cue ball behind as well, and then the two ball there. Uh, this shot's very tricky because you're gonna have to hit the cue ball into the rail, avoid to scratch, and then from there the one ball is going short, long, short, long, into the corner. So precision, power, and stroke. Real good pick. Uh, thanks, Ellie, for sending, and uh, well, let's see how long it takes me to make it back. All right, this is attempt number one. Looking good, but it looks like I hit it a little too full. Something like this at least, or maybe a double kiss, hard to say, went real quick. So we're gonna respot it. Obviously the balls are pretty easy to spot, so that's the good news. And uh, it's not that difficult to find the aiming point either because it's just a real first. Okay, so this was second try. Unfortunately on the second try, I hit too thin and sending my cue ball into the corner and not being able to hold that scratch. That one ball went a little better though if you look at it. Let's see and take number three here if I can correct it. This is looking better. My cue ball didn't scratch. I'm gonna make the one ball in the correct corner but not the correct way. So we're gonna respot the balls here for attempt number four. So it, it's pretty you know pretty logic though at this point you just gotta hit it. Try to find that sweet spot. A lot of bottom and too much bottom. Okay, that's a classic here. Every time you try to put a lot of draw, uh, sometimes you just over overpower it. So, you know, let's see, this would be take number five, I believe. And uh, we change the view, looking good here. There you go, is it gonna make it? Do we have enough speed on that one ball? It looks like it's going. And it fell, alrighty. Take five, not bad. Let's see it again from the top view here. Look at this. This is looking pretty similar. Now, at first, you know, thing I'll say that the cue ball didn't travel exactly the same way as the virtual version, but it looks good though. All right, let's see by side by side. Wow, look at this. Uh, this one too quick. Couldn't really tell. You can say the one ball is going approximately at the same speed here. So let's see on the on the real slow mo here. I think this is like 10%. Cue balls are going, hit the one ball, same spot, boom, cue ball fighting to scratch back. Now the difference is my cue ball didn't fight quite as much, I think I only hit the points about two times, while in the virtual version I hit about four times. The one ball went in a different way on the long rail, and obviously it's going a different way on the opposite long rail as well, but other than that, it is looking pretty good. My cue ball is not ended up far of the one in the virtual game. So let's see again, normal speed here. Yeah, it's definitely not fighting back the same way. But the balls are, it's looking good though. I mean, it is definitely the same shot. Great little shot here. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks again to Ellie for sending me this awesome shot. On my side, I truly learned something today and I think it's actually a great one pocket shot. As usual, any question, comment below, let me know what you think of it, and see you next time for another episode of Virtual vs. Real. Later guys.